When are we gonna stop fighting the same war over and over and over again? <sighs> Hello there kitties. I'm Carrie, the vacuum tube witch at the local hackerspace and today is the 31st of March and this is the transgender day of visibility and uh, I would like to tell you all of the trans people out there a few kind words because uh, I'm one of them always have been and uh, it is hard depending on where you live and uh, and what uh, the local laws are and uh, the approach of people and uh, all that kind of stuff it's never perfect it's uh, it's not uh, perfect anywhere even though uh, here in Poland uh, we have to sue our own parents to court and we have to divorce first because uh, the law doesn't uh, acknowledge the same-sex uh, marriages and uh, if you are in a different sex uh, marriage uh, before you legally transition the legal transition would uh, change your gender marker and uh, you would end up in the same-sex marriage and uh, since the law doesn't uh, acknowledge this the courts uh, want you to divorce first uh, even, uh, even though your relationship is perfectly fine this is so fucking destructive and uh, you have to sue your own parents to court uh, which is um, I don't think if it's uh, found uh, anywhere else at least uh, unla at least contrary to the post-soviet uh, countries uh, you don't have to go through extended and uh, invasive psychiatrists evaluation first but uh, but it still sucks because you have to go through the diagnostic process uh, to prove that you are actually transgender and uh, often the doctors who <coughs> control the, the process uh, the doctors who you see they often have their arbitrary requirements of uh, gender expression and uh, they sometimes uh, stick to the real life experience that uh, <sighs> don't you even get me started on this shit because uh, because this is just criminal doing uh, doing something like this uh, forcing people to prove that uh, they can live as uh, the gender they feel without uh, even having the hormone treatment it can be it can be dangerous to them uh, in the hateful um, environments it can be so fucking dangerous to them and uh, I personally am a fucking privileged uh, because uh, I live in a city where we've got an endocrinologist who sticks to the informed consent uh, approach to transgender healthcare so uh, he didn't gatekeep me when I went to see him about uh, the hormones so now I'll be like 19 months on uh, HRT anyway uh, I can perfectly understand that uh, some countries have it better some countries have it way worse and uh, in the latter it would be for example Uganda or Uzbekistan or Russia even Ukraine given the situation and uh, and uh, the news that uh, 
I get that uh, trans women in Ukraine um, are forced to stay in the country even though they have uh, legally changed uh, their gender marker. It's so fucking sad and uh, makes me very very angry and very nervous and uh, if things go like uh, they are going if uh, if things go uh, go south i don't know what's going to happen in poland when it comes to living and uh, transitioning because uh, now it's uh, pretty unstable with uh, fanatical groups like Orto Yuri's uh, spreading hateful propaganda and and of course the turfs because uh, no place on earth is free from the turf, right? Okay, that will... Nah. Anyway, uh, like I said uh, to all trans girls and and boys and non-binary people, your I can uh, tell you that uh, we have to stay together. We have to fight together. We can't be we can't be separated from each other. We have to form the communities because only then. We can, we can survive this, uh, all the attacks, all the hate. Only then we can fight back. And uh, now it is up to us, the younger generation of trans people, the, the older trans people, like the Generation X and uh, the Boomer trans people, have done a lot of good uh, for all these years, uh, given that uh, their knowledge was shaped uh, way earlier and uh, now it is uh, up to us to, to act, to fight, to s spread the modern knowledge. And uh, that's also what I'm doing on this channel, what I'm gonna do, like I'm gonna make some uh, serious, uh, maybe I should call them the first day transgender transmissions or something like that. Spreading the knowledge and uh, and maybe tips, insights uh, of someone like me, someone who is 36 years old now and uh, has come out as a trans woman uh, January last year. Earlier I was... Uh, I saw myself as uh, non-binary, as androgynous, as someone uh, between the genders. But... Uh, I have come to terms uh, with, uh, with my femininity and I have... Uh, I have worked through a lot of uh, internalized transphobia that uh, I I inherited from uh, from the culture, but it's it's so toxic. It surrounds from it surrounds you from uh, the youngest age. It's everywhere. It's uh, it's in the family. It's at school. It's in the pop culture. And it's uh, from the lips of the politicians. And uh, being surrounded um, with uh, all this shit and realizing that uh, your gender identity is uh, different than uh, the gender you were assigned uh, at birth. Uh, it can be mind shattering, but uh, but now I think uh, with the internet, with the social media and communities, uh, on one hand it's uh, it's way better because uh, you can 
look for support, you can find support, you can find information way easier than it was like 10 years ago. On the other hand, uh, it offers more possibilities uh, for hateful, toxic people and groups to spread their word. So, um, as always, uh, there are always some uh, people and ideologies who want us not to exist, the trans people, the queer people, the people on the autistic spectrum or otherwise neurodivergent. It sucks. Uh, it also shows us that uh, it's no use uh, to romanticize the past because uh, it's been shit, it is shit, and it will be shit, and it's uh, up to us to fight and create uh, the better world, the reality where we are more accepted, uh, where we have uh, more access to transition-related uh, healthcare, where we have less discrimination, and uh, where we can uh, speak freely about uh, us being trans, being queer. It's up to us. And uh, it is a responsibility. It is also a potentially destructive uh, to be any kind of activist to speak out loudly when, uh, when you have to, despite, uh, despite uh, having to deal with, uh, with the opposition, sometimes, uh, sometimes very violent, sometimes very lethal. But I think in the end it's gonna be, it's gonna be very rewarding that uh, when you are about to go, you at least uh, you have the feeling that you have done for the humanity the best you could do. And who knows, maybe you'll go down in history as, uh, as someone who made an actual change. And... Uh, I might, uh, I might not be as active as uh, a lot of other activists in my country, but I try to do my thing, I try to go to demonstrations, I try to co-organize them, and I try to speak out at uh, demonstrations in uh, support of uh, trans and queer people. I, uh, I try to speak about uh, the reality of, uh, of being trans. Doing it from my perspective, uh, as a pretty young person still, a millennial, born in the uh, 1980s, I might not understand uh, the um, younger generation like uh, like the late millennials and uh, the generation Z I might not fully understand their perspectives uh, and their experiences um, because uh, those uh, those people grew up with uh, the internet uh, being all over the place. I remember the world uh, without uh, the common access to the internet. And uh, this, uh, like I said, this uh, has its advantages and disadvantages. Like the advantages of uh, access to knowledge and uh, disadvantages of uh, being more vulnerable and uh, making it uh, easier to spread uh, hate and leading people to, to do nasty stuff to themselves.
It's very sad, but it has to be sad. With and without I in the word sad. Anyway, I think that's uh, what I wanted to say. With kind greetings, guys, girls and non-binary pals, remember that uh, you will always uh, find home and safety here at my channel. You'll always be supported. I will always stand by your side. Even after I get old-ish and uh, can no longer take part in uh, activism because I think that um, any one of, uh, of us who are engaged in, uh, in social activism and politics and that kind of stuff uh, will pretty soon or maybe later burn out and uh, become tired and it's perfectly natural to be tired because uh, having to fight all the time is uh, absolutely fatiguing and I also know something about it okay so uh, I think that would be it and hopefully the time will come when we don't have to fight for being, for just uh, existing the way we are. And uh, gotta say, live long and prosper, people. We all need that. We all need to support each other. That would be it for today. That was Kerry, the vacuum tube witch, signing off, saying bye, and the vacuum tube of the day would be somewhere here. It is this. Okay, bye!